welcome back to Sherry the Chef. Today we're gonna to be making one of my favorites, one of my husband's favorites too, um, white chocolate macadamia nut cookies. So I don't quite remember the first time I had one of these cookies. I'm thinking it might have been Subway years ago. I know they still sell them and every time I go in there I have to get one. I don't know where it was. I just know I was, that's probably why I don't remember. I think I was just like in complete heaven. <laughs> So that's what we're going to be making today, um, and feel free to double this recipe. It's a smaller recipe, um, but like I said, you can feel free to double it. So I've got a stick of butter in here, and I'm just going to add two-thirds of a cup of sugar, and then we're going to slide our mixer attachment on, lock it in place, and we're going to cream our butter and sugar together. And once that's nice and fluffy, I'm going to add in an egg. And most people will probably put one teaspoon of vanilla in. I'm going to put two teaspoons in. I really like the Mexican vanilla or the Madagascar, which Pamper Chef is selling again now. I'm excited about that. All right, so we're going to cream this together. And I'm going to take just a second to scrape down my sides. going to add in our dry ingredients and actually before I do that I'm going to sift these two together all right so I've got you know what I forgot how much flour I put in here so <laughs> you guys are gonna have to forgive me I do know well I forgot how much that was too because I forgot I'm using a scraper instead of my whisk <laughs> I totally forgot. I'll have to look those up and I'll post it in the comments for you guys. Anyway, flour and our baking soda. So that's whisked together. And actually, I'm going to take this off here, otherwise, I'm going to make a mess. I'm just going to toss that in. And at this point, we'll just scoop this up. At this point, we can probably do this by hand. Get this completely incorporated then we can add our mix-ins and did you know that sugar is actually considered a wet ingredient so that's why your sugar goes in first so wet ingredients sift your dry ingredients and then add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients so that looks pretty good all right so for my add-ins now if you don't like nuts in your cookies you can do just the white chocolate chips So I've got a cup of white chocolate chips, and I've got a cup of macadamia nuts that I've chopped up, and then I've got a half a cup of craisins. Now one of the things that you can do is really nice is take your craisins or raisins, like if you're going to make oatmeal raisin cookies, um, anytime you're going to put your craisins or raisins um, in baked goods, if you take them and you soak them in water for a few hours, they're, uh, they become really nice and plump. All right, so I'm just getting in here and mixing this together by hand. I just wanna eat this right out of the bowl. <laughs> well, we probably should taste it and make sure it's good before we waste our time even baking it, right? <laughs> it's delicious, but I did not get a white chocolate chip in there, so. I have another bite. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait till these come out of the oven and they're warm with a glass of milk. These are going to be perfect for dessert tonight. All right, so I'm just going to wash my hands real quick. And then I've got one of our stainless steel scoops here. Let me move this out of the way. So one of the things I absolutely love, this is the first thing I ever bought from Pampered Chef, and it is one of our pizza stones. And for a long time, I didn't use it because I like to make two or three pizzas at once, and I didn't want to wait on the stone. 
what I didn't realize is it is awesome for making things crispy, like cheese sticks, toasted raviolis. I make cookies on here, all kinds of stuff. So now it just stays in the oven. And because of that, it's seasoned very well and it's black, but that's good because they say the darker it looks, the better it cooks. Normally I would use a teaspoon metal scooper, but I'm gonna use the larger one today because these cookies are full of all those goodies, all the chocolate chips, or the white chocolate chips, I should say, the cranberries and the macadamia nuts. And I like my cookies to be like really uniform. I like them all to look the same and look like they came from a bakery. <laughs> so I feel like if I put them in a smaller scoop that I would have a hard time getting them all even because of all the little nuts and stuff. All right, so there we go. Now, I don't know how much these are going to spread out, so I'm just putting four on here for right now, and I'm just going to pat them down it's just a tiny bit. I like to try to keep them nice and round. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I'm going to rinse my hands real quick again. All right, so these are going to go in the oven at 375. Um, most of the time your cookies are... You know eight to ten minutes so what I say is take them if you like them chewy especially you're gonna want to take them out at eight minutes because they're gonna have some continue or some carryover cooking they're gonna continue to cook for a little bit all right so off to the oven these go all right so we've got our first batch of cookies getting ready to come out of the oven smell amazing sometimes I let them sit just a little bit just because they're usually easier to get off the pan but these are a little brown so I want to try to get them off there as soon as possible I don't want them to cook any more than they already have so I'm gonna be very very careful Oh my goodness, aren't these pretty? Alright, I'm just going to let that cool there for a few minutes. Put our second batch in. I'll flatten these out just a little more than I did last time. All right, so get this out of the way. Second batch is going to go in. <laughs> I feel like these look like lobster claws. should save these for dessert tonight but yeah look how pretty that is so of course I gotta take a bite Jagan you want to take a bite a cookie huh? while it's warm and soft mmm you get that super sweet bite of the white chocolate, the crunch of the nut, and then the chewiness of the cranberries. I think this just inspired me to do a white chocolate macadamia cranberry cheesecake for Thanksgiving. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> well, you should know. Him and his daddy are cookie monsters. So that is it. I'm going to finish up my cookies, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.